So I've got a quick question about Ryan Hesdale, a motor in the Cervelo. What do I think? I think it looks suspicious. Let's check out the footage and do a little further investigation. A motor in his bike. Let's check it out. So here we are, stage seven, Belta 2014. Bam! Rider rags out. Nasty little spill there. Boom! The motor starts on his bike. The motorbike driver runs over it. Let's watch again. Replay. Tight corner here. Looks like a bit of oil on the road. Ouch. Unfortunate crash there for Mr. Hajidar. But the bike's spinning away from him. And then the motorbike came around and goes, Oop, sorry, buddy. You got a motor in your Cervelo. I'm going to crunch that little carbon fucker. And it gets crunched. The Cervelo gets crunched because it's got a motor in it. <laughs> Look at that. The motorbike cameraman says, nah, sorry, buddy, no motors allowed in the Velta. Tour of Spain, Spanish motorbike rider doesn't want the Cervelo with the motor in, it, in the race, so he just crunches it. Ran over by the motorbike cameraman on purpose. Just crunched it over. The motorbike ca cameraman's got plenty of room. He's like, fuck it, that's a motor in there, boy. And it's going to get crunched. You want to be a rider, you got to ride a bicycle, not a motorbike. <coughs> crunched. What do you think? Was there a motor in the Cervelo? A Cervelo is so crap they need motors in them, some people are saying. I disagree, but I think it does look a bit suspicious. What's the deal? Why is the bike still spinning? The bike stopped and then it starts spinning again. And then the Spanish motorbike cameraman said, Senorita, it's time to crunch. 